Okay guys, so my youngest son, Brendan, never appears in my videos because he doesn't like to be on camera. Well, a couple days ago, I was getting ready to make a video and he was standing behind me, flexing, just fooling around, and he said that I could keep that and put it in one of my videos. So then he said I had to, he had to approve it first. So he approved it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that clip in at the beginning. So you'll see that he actually does participate in our lifestyle as far as lifting goes. He definitely lifts weights, and here you go. Go, can Brandon. Can go, Brandon. You can leave that in there. I can leave that in there? You're gonna appear on the video with all your muscles? I need to see it again. Oh, you need to see it first? I have to have approval? Okay. <laughs> I'm just sitting outside of Walmart right now and I'm gonna go in there and buy a chalkboard for John he wants his own quote board and I think he's gonna put it in the weight room but I'm not positive um, today's our wedding anniversary so that's what I'm getting him <laughs> we're not supposed to buy each other anything but you know it's not like it's anything real major expensive and he's been wanting it for a while so I thought yeah I'll give it to him for an anniversary present <laughs> so anyway today is Fitster week number 12 and there's only one more week left. So there's a couple questions, let's get right to it. What have you tried that has helped you on your journey? As far as uh, my entire journey, like as a whole, lifting. That's my answer. <laughs> that's what I've tried that's helped me. So lifting, um, what hasn't helped you and you eliminated it from your journey? Having a gym membership, honestly, uh, I just didn't go. I never went. I mean, I went once in a while, but you know what I mean? Like, I didn't go enough to make it worth the money. We so. have our own weight room at home, so that works for me, but going to the gym just doesn't. So for the challenge, it says to share some pictures or clips of some new dishes or some exercises or some exercise gear or share some tips. So I'm going to go with sharing a tip or two. <laughs> the first one is you got to find something you love and I've said that before like kind of reevaluate if you have a gym membership kind of touching on the fact that I canceled my gym membership and that was one of the better things I've done um, if you have a gym membership and you just don't ever go give it some thought and think about whether or not are you wasting the money on it you know is it even worth it are you even gonna go really enough to make it worth it as far as the membership cost if not, maybe that's not for you. I mean, there's a lot of other things that you can do. Like for instance, if you want to lift and work out with whatever you do at the gym, maybe you could buy that equipment yourself with the money you're spending on your membership, kind of put that money back and buy a little bit of equipment at a time and do it at home. Maybe that's what you need. I know that's what I needed. So my next tip is to actually schedule your exercise like schedule it set an actual time for it that it's like an appointment that you can't miss and then don't miss it <laughs> I mean there's gonna be times when you're too tired you've got things to do you're in a bad mood you just don't want it the best thing you can do is do it <laughs> because then you're gonna release those endorphins and halfway through your workout whether you're lifting or doing yoga or bike riding or jogging or whatever you're doing you're gonna start releasing those endorphins and you're gonna be in a better mood. You're not gonna be as tired. And you know, the things that you have to do will still be there, but you're gonna be in a better mindset to actually tackle them. So <laughs> I'm just saying, schedule a time and actually show up. Okay, so those were a couple of my tips for you guys. Hopefully they might help somebody. And I just realized there's somebody in the car next to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh well okay so that's it for this part now for the non-scale victories and the weight loss marbles let's head back to my house real quick and take a look at those okay so you saw what just happened with the weight loss marbles yep two pounds up honestly that kind of bothers me because I actually did a pretty good job last week <laughs> But hey, I know fluctuations happen, but 
it still bugs me because now my jar is empty. Anyhow, non-scale victories. All right, I got my supplements in. I got my water in. I also got my water in first thing in the morning. I got my sleep in. I've been eating on plan pretty good and I did it for five days. I did, I did it three days in a row. I get a marble for that. So I'm just gonna keep it to one marble because I did it for all five days of the week, but then on the weekend I got a little bit lax, but I still didn't do terrible. So that was why I was kind of upset about the two pounds up because honestly, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna lie, honestly, I weighed on Friday. So I weighed before the weekend. <laughs> Anyhow, okay, lifting. We didn't get out there as much as we should have, but we did get out there a couple days. So I'll go ahead with one marble for that. The quote board, kept up on that pretty good. And meal prepping, did that too. So that's a total of eight marbles for this week. Back in the car. Okay, so there you go. We don't have any weight loss marbles left, but that is okay. Lost my marbles. Let's see what I can do from here on out and just move on and not give up. And you know, yeah, just I'm just gonna stay positive about it. It happened, I maintained at least. At least I didn't gain, right? So that's a good thing. But the non scale victory marbles are adding up. My cup's getting real full for that one. So, okay, guys, that is it for Fitster this week, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.